Thank you to Hairpin Art Center for being our streaming partner. Any Squared Spotlight Art Talks highlight member and friend artists of all ages and experiences. Hi everyone, welcome to Any Squared Spotlight. And this week we're excited to showcase Carlos Vasquez, who is one of our dear friends and who has been at Any Squared for a few years. I know uh, via Dahlia, Jerry invited Dahlia and Dahlia invited uh, Carlos. And he's Thank been you, around, Jerry. And he's been around ever since. And, uh, and Carlos is, you know, an illustrator, he's an artist, he's, he's been doing murals lately, and he's also been teaching at Brighton Park Neighborhood Council um, for a CPS after school programs, art programs, which I'm super proud of you for doing that. Also, um, the other thing is, is like, in terms of any squared, you've been always been willing to help give a hand installing exhibits, transporting things, helping do all kinds of things for any squared and we are always appreciative. And um, and I'm excited to hear your talk about like you as an artist and um, what you've been doing lately and also what you've been doing your whole life as an artist. So Carlos, take it away. All right, thanks Tracy. So thank you Tracy for having me on the spotlight. Thank you any squared, hairpin, Thank you everybody for coming and um, checking out the video, checking out the stream. Um, so yeah, I think most of you guys, I've known mostly everyone here for a few years now, but just a little bit about my background um, from Southside Chicago, Southwest Chicago. And I've been doing art for pretty much my whole life. Um, I can remember being uh, very, very young, a uh, toddler, a preteen, and carrying around a briefcase with a bunch of doodles in it so as far as like drawing and stuff yeah I've always done that um but I didn't take um although I have always wanted to I've always expressed that I would want to do this as a living I didn't actually start taking it serious until a few years back and um little by little kind of noticing that if I would want to do this as a career or as as a, you know as a living that I would have to put in the time you know just like with everything and it hasn't been up until uh, recently, up until this last year, where I uh, took a step, stepped outside of my comfort zone in the sense of like uh, having to socialize a bit more. And I definitely have to thank uh, Any Squared and Tracy for that. Uh, constantly pushing me. If you ever saw me at shows, if you ever saw me at galleries or festivals, um, showing it is a lot of gratitude. It's thanks to Tracy. She's usually always the one telling me to just do it and go for it. So, um, so thank you, Tracy, for that. Um, yeah, like she said, uh, recently more uh, this past year, especially with uh, COVID and everything, uh, I helped out on uh, the walls and started doing a bit more uh, mural work. Um, probably not, uh, you guys probably have not seen most of them just because uh, again, I'm not very good at um, archiving my work and uh, sharing it, but um, I do plan to do to do that more often. I really like it, even though uh, for my first uh, big mural, the one over in uh, in Brighton Park, uh, I definitely learned to not go solo for something that big. Um, so um, so yeah, but I'm I'm learning just along with everything. And like I had mentioned earlier, I am now an uh, instructor, art instructor for um, Kelly High School and Davis Elementary. So if you guys have any kids, please let me know, send me an email and I can um, get them into the class. It is free, the materials are free. And like I said, we are very well um, funded. Um, so yeah, so I didn't, I don't really wanna do this like slideshow thing because I think it can be a bit dragging, like a bit too uh, formal. So um, if anybody has any questions or interest about my work, 
you guys can check out my uh, Instagram. It's at the crude. So that's T H E K R O O D. Um, yeah, so that's me. That's also my work. This is one of my more recent works behind me. Still not done with it. Still have a lot to go. Um, any questions so far? Any questions from anyone? Any interests? I'd like to see hey, some Carlos. of you. Go ahead. Hey, uh, I was just wondering, so when you say you're the art instructor there, does that mean like, um, like what does that mean? Does that mean like it's for the next curricular class or you're working there like, uh, like the position is like, you're, you're taking, you're intaking all of these kids. Right, so, so basically I work through an organization um, that sends out instructors or teachers or mentors out to, to different schools. So right now it's remote. And um, even though I'm hired through them, I still have like a CPS ID and a CPS, you know, password and all that stuff. Um, nice. Yeah, man, it's really, really rewarding. Um, definitely something really nice, really uh, that stands out in a resume. So I'm really glad for that. I don't see myself in the future, like uh, making a career out of teaching kids. Um, okay. Oh, but but it is very rewarding. It, it's it's really nice to uh to get the the kids' heads out of all this you know all this craziness going on around us. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm very I'm very thankful for that position. As Congratulations, well. man! Thank you, thank you, Jacob. It means a lot, man. There's a couple of questions in the in the chat. In the um, chat. Sorry, guys. I, I'm new. I'm new to the Zoom. I'm new to the Zoom. Um, what inspires you? Where, where do I draw inspiration yeah. from? Um, I definitely have to say, I think like all of you guys, uh, everything around me, you know, everything from other artists to art itself, a lot of times um, it's emotionally driven, right? Um, especially, uh, you know, with all, all the BS we have to put up with those who are in, in power, uh, locally and federal. Um, so yeah, it's it, it comes from all around. Sometimes uh, I think I'm I would like to be able to uh, narrow down my style or, 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 or grab a style because I don't have one. Although I've been told many times in the past that uh, people see my work and they're like, oh, dude, that's yours. And I'm surprised that they know it because I don't actually see myself having a style just because maybe I will uh, do portraits, you know, one night and then the next I'll do some like fictional stuff and then I'll do animals. So I don't have a specific style, but currently, I am trying to focus on doing more realistic stuff, more te te technical wise, you know, technicality, um, trying to learn how to paint more realistic and things like that. Um, I think you do have a style in your char more caricature characters where you draw getting personality from your drawings. I do think. Yeah, you yeah, have, absolutely. Yeah, you um, have a certain yeah, that's usually, of, yeah, that's usually sense of humor or, or, it's a little, you know, sometimes it's like, you know, you, you choose to do the ugly sides of people's or, or a sense of humor or, or some kind of quirkiness. I think, I think all yeah. of your drawings are like Dude, that. absolutely, absolutely. Um, that's usually where people comment most on my sketches, on my doodles of people. Um, I always, I recommend my kids to always go out and uh, people watch, you know, go to a Walmart. I know it's, I, like I tell them, it's super hard nowadays with everything being how it is. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, for a long time, and I really would like to get back to it, just like go to the mall and sit down and watch people, you know, there's no better characters that you can find than people at the mall. Um, if you want a specific look, you know, then I'll start thinking about, hey, maybe I want, you know, to draw somewhere a little bit more conservative. I'll go to a Starbucks or something. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely see it on my doodles though, on my uh, sketches, on my people's sketches. Mm -hmm. and Jerry said he he asked you um, how, how you I started start working, working there. there. Yeah, yeah. A friend of mine um wor had, was working has worked there for a long time, and um that that big insect mural on that uh, that you guys that I have on my background on my Facebook background um that is actually the a job I did for the for the uh for the council before I started working there. Just sort of I asked her if. You know, there was graffiti all, all on the wall, and um, I asked her that if she wanted it cleaned up, I can do that for her. Um, and yeah, I got it. 
Awesome, man. That's awesome. Yes, yes. And I hope to be able to to do the um to have it like you. I I drive you know through back of the yards or Villita, and I see your stuff everywhere, man. So I I try, I'm gonna catch up to you, dude. I'm gonna catch up. To you. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I I think that um we take too much. We give too much. Um. We sort of make a a, a disconnect with 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 that you know um with seeing these big pieces of works and we sometimes feel like maybe we can't do that or maybe that's like too big of a, but i think um the first step is just to go and ask to go and do whether you're doing uh whether you want a piece a small whether you want to uh, paint a small you know uh, door or something huge and you're not going to lose any at all by going and asking hey can i paint on your wall you know um and I think I think a lot of artists are intimidated by that, and I'm very happy that I that I got past that because I've got I've gotten a lot of cool offers and um and yeah a lot of cool chances to work with with uh, some very some very cool artists some very cool people. Do you want to Carlos, show? What some... is your uh, classes with the kids? What is that? What does it entail? Yeah. So so yeah, my sister actually was pretty surprised that. Uh, that I got the job she didn't she never saw me as like a, a teacher I would never had never thought that I was going to be a teacher or, a, or instructor you know I never saw that um and uh Tracy can tell she can vouch for I was not feeling I was very nervous on taking on the job I didn't think I would be able to do it but it's it's very simple all I do is like you know maybe I'll talk one day I'll talk about uh, technicality and then I'll I'll, uh, because I'm able to get um, materials and, um, you know, endless materials, I can come up with a lesson plan. For example, um, next week we'll start doing like uh, clay, working with clay. The week after that, we're going to do some, um, I, I have a lot. I have, we have a few things. I have a, a planner and that's really crazy because um, I haven't been this uh, organized right I said earlier busy but I haven't been this organized since I was in high school uh making a schedule making lesson plans it's it's nuts I never saw myself doing that kind of work um so basically yeah we reach we touch on everything um it's an arts and crafts right so um most of my students uh are are girls and uh they're really want to do the uh, bracelets thing so <laughs> that's not something really that I've done but there's a few things in the, these past few months that I've actually never touched on. And I would have considered myself like, yeah, like I, I know how to make, you know, uh, mandalas, mandala signs and stuff like that. But um, it's a different thing. It's a totally different thing when you have to teach it. Right. So you have yeah. to know enough of it to be confident enough to like, you know, e express the students and show them, you know, so you can show them the right the right moves. Um, so what uh, what age age groups do you work with? So so for Davis it's um fifth through eighth grade, and then um for Kelly it's uh sophomores and juniors. Okay. Yeah. What so, are the older kids? What what interests them? Like what kind of art? It's do, it's super they? easy, dude. For the older kids, I think it's the easiest to connect with them. Um, just because I I think I myself uh, am still a kid in some ways. Um. Uh, I love cartoons. I've always loved cartoons. I'm always going to. So that was really easy, a really easy way to connect with them, you know, talk about the animes that are popping nowadays and they, that catches their interest. Um, so I do that on Mondays and Wednesdays and then Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. I'm teaching a comic book class. And um, that is, again, something else that I, I had never actually dove into, even though, you know, we all grew up with comics or at least I did reading them or whatever. But um, taking on uh, the responsibility of actually making it, and you know, uh, it's it's really cool, man. Um, the, you yeah, found I, that the kids uh, catch on pretty easily, or no, or... absolutely not, and that's what made it <laughs> so much easier. That um, that uh, it's 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 like uh, you give what what you give, and then some some kids will be more excited towards a certain subject than another. Yeah, you know, but um. Yeah, like uh, when I first started, I was nervous about like being on time with the lesson plans, but I'll make a lesson plan and something as simple as making a few sketches will last like the whole week. So for them, like, but they still be, they still eventually get excited about it, you know? Um, 
yeah, man, it's really rewarding, man. It's really rewarding to see the kids uh, be into that kind of stuff. Nice. Awesome. It seems like you, you, you're you really liking it and you're feeling it. The, have you found that when you're working with the kids that you find inspiration in what they're making in your own work or does it spark any ideas for you? Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. These kids are, um, they're not tainted, man. They're not tainted by society's uh, oppression. No, <laughs> no, not to get that. No, but they are, they express themselves in all kinds of different ways. Um, I think some of the hottest, coolest stuff you'll see on, uh, in pop culture, it comes from like wacky brains, you know, um, that think outside of the box. And that's, um, that's the best thing about working with kids is that they have no filter. So the creativity just flows on forever. For sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Hell yeah. Yeah. So let me, um, I wasn't going to share uh, much, but probably should share something, right? Here are some photos. Please. So you got to open up the photos and then you can share your screen. You ever share some of your work with the kids? Uh, when I start, when I start the classes, when the semester first begins, yeah, I'll, I'll share like some of what I do. Okay. Um, cool. It's I I um I think for someone like like a uh, say like Jerry, he's very composed and very uh, has a more serious tone to him. But a lot of my work, I wasn't able to share a lot of what I wanted to share because it wasn't you know it's not school appropriate. But um, but you have still. enough that that is. Yeah, I had enough. I had enough to, so they can get an idea of what I do. I, I don't get it. Uh, uh, two things. Uh, I'm. Serious like you have. Then... You have. You can. You've expressed yourself in very. Um, you know. Um, you're, you're, you 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 have work very. Uh, uh, expressive work that everyone can can you know for all ages for. Uh, Mm -hmm. at your average spectator you have a lot of cultural work a lot of you know floral work i was, I was asking uh uh because you're talking about presenting it to your, your classroom yeah oh okay yeah 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 hi helen hi helen hey hey carlos so although i try and um sway away from from fiction or fantasy, I still do like silly stuff like this, you know. Um, Ooh, is that watercolor? That is a pencil. It's pencil and pen, a uh, color pencil and pen. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I don't about I don't know what about sharing. Uh, I think that um, most of my work. I think you guys seen all of, mo most of my work that I've done lately. Um, well, not everyone who's watching the video. Not has me. Seen it. I want Not to me. Those. Thanks for that, Eric. Gosh. <laughs> I really like those vegetables. What What were you thinking? Uh, like, what, where, what do you think that could head? Or are you just kind of playing around? Um. Yeah, yeah. Some Having of fun. my, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Most of the, I think the best, the best, coolest things that I come up with are not forced. Uh, when I force myself to try and do something, it never comes out how I want it. And it never comes out, you know, natural or organic. So, um. Yeah, I was doodling some vegetables and decided to add a body to them. And then the rest of the guy, the rest of the doodles came in. Nice, but, um, man. Yeah, I think I'm really happy with um, with my style, but I would like to be taken um, a bit more serious with the work I do. You know, I think we all have um, different layers. We're not just one person or one being. We have a lot of layers. Robert says, do you still do Sharpie on concrete? Love the use of concrete as an art material. Like onions, yes, like Shrek. I was just thinking. Like onions? You remember like people have layers? And I was thinking. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like onions. Um, Sharpie on concrete, like like graffiti? Or, or what do you mean? I, I noticed the pictures that you had on Instagram, you had four pieces on concrete on sharpie and i thought they were pretty cool oh yeah yeah that was really old school man yeah that was an old pick um yeah absolutely i think that actually now that you bring that up i uh i originally um 
in grammar school, I think that when my, I was rooted to graffiti, you know, seeing the eighth graders in lunchtime kind of do their thing there. Um, so that's how I started drawing, getting into the art um, world. Once I started high school, I kind of dropped the whole graffiti thing and just started doing, you know, a variety of materials. To this day, I still try and uh, mix my mediums up as much as I can. Um, but I, uh, these past, uh, I think, two, three years, I really, really uh, became much more fun. I went back to my roots and started doing graffiti more serious. Um, I think it, it had a lot to do with my, my run-ins with the law throughout the years um, and, and wanting, to, wanting to just, it's, it's, it's art with, um, I, I, have, I have heard um, people who are uh, disconnected to the, to the communities in the South Side not really understand it or not really be able to, um, yeah, they don't get it, right? They don't get it. And I can absolutely, I've always like, absolutely, I get it. You know, you, you don't get the graffiti. Like, why are you writing on my walls? But um, it, th that's the point. That there is the point, that there is no point. Graffiti is mo way different than it was in the 80s. Like, I'm over here trying to be flash and shit. <laughs> um, it's changed a lot. So so um, as an adult, graffiti Ooh. means a lot more to me than it did when I was younger. When I was younger, it was just something that was really cool. You know, it was like, man, all the, the cool kids. But now as an adult, uh, I see it much more different. Um, it is, it is a, it's a big F you to the, to the city, you know, um, and it is, it is all about that. It is all about, um, uh, for, well, for some people, sometimes it's for getting up, you know, and being more uh, bigger. But for me, it just, it's, it means totally something different. And you would, you know, you would think, well, what's the, what's the point in that? What's the point of just ruining, you know, someone's property? Well, you're not ruining me personally. I don't do ever, would ever go and write on someone's, um, like a mom and pop shop, right? Uh, you want to do, you want to do city property. That's what you want to do. You want to take a dollar from their pocket is what you want. And, uh, I think I've really, really grown, grown fond of that. Um, it's art with a meaning. It's it's for the first time I can say like uh, it's it's much more meaningful than just what you see there. You know, there's a lot behind it. So I'm really glad you asked that, Robert. Thank you. Um, so I don't to answer yeah to answer your question. I I do do it just to a bigger a bigger extent now using uh, paint and stuff. Um, so yeah, like I said, a lot of what you're seeing right now is on my Instagram, which was uh, what I was planning on sharing with you guys. But um, which is dogs? I like this uh, green, uh, this blue, and this pink one right here. Like the uh, the bodies, yeah. but they're kind of like just yeah. So so um, some of those which you guys are seeing, some of the ones in the bottom, um, those are from uh, Inktober. Um, I don't share all of them, but I share what I can. Uh, I don't think I've ever made it through the whole month, which is not, which is very embarrassing to say, but. Uh, uh, for those of you guys who don't know what Inktober is, it's pretty much uh, you make a doodle or a sketch um, every day for the month of October. Uh, usually there's a list, uh, a font list, a pre-list. What would you call it, Trace? Like a, a prompts list. A prompt. There you go. Yeah. There's a prompt for people who make prompts and you go and you follow the prompt. So that little weird wiggly thing that actually I'm very happy for that because that's um, that's something that just I just vomited. Right. I just. I think the, the prompt was something like a uh, trippy or dance or something. And uh, th that's really, can you scroll back that down trace? Yeah, so that, sure. that, that, um, this here right there. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, okay. yeah, the possum piece has definitely been one of my favorites. Um, it's, it's not huge. I think it was like a, like a three by eight or something like that, super tiny, but it was, um, it's one of my most favorite pieces just because um, of how, how fast I did it, how focused I was, how fast I was able to finish it, and then the reaction I got from that. And I think that lasted a long time for me as a motivation uh, because a lot of people were um, kind of, they got it, they got it, you know? It's like, it's a joke, but at the same time, it's like really cute to look at. So those are actually, I'm very, very proud of that piece. I think it took me like three hours and I sold it the first day that I uh, that I had it for showing at a, across the street at a slippery slope. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, those are. Uh, so, yeah, as I as I get older, I kind of find my position in art. Um, I have trouble with sometimes trying to label um, label myself at what kind of artist I am or 
you know, things like that. But you kind of realize like, dude, it's art. There is no label in art. There is no wrong. There's no right. Right. Um, I think it's, that's the, um, a lot of people try and hate that um, when you get big and you sell your pieces for more that you're like selling out. But um, I actually don't see it that way. I think that if you're painting, if you're expressing yourself, nobody can say anything about that. Nobody can put a label on you, no matter how big you make, no matter how, um, I think uh, I might get a lot of shit for this, but I actually, um, I, ha I actually do like a lot of Banksy's work. I do admire the man. Uh, he gets a lot of shit because, uh, because he makes like millions, right? Or his pieces make millions. I don't even know if he actually receives the money, but uh, uh, one of his recent pieces, he was he sold it at an auction, and the second it sold, he tore it up. He put it in a frame that uh, that ended up tearing its own piece. I was in New Orleans the other day, and I got to see his uh, uh, a piece that he did that they actually took off. They took off a whole piece of a of a wall to have it at their hotel, which yeah, it's corny. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's corny, and crazy, but um, but that's that's. I think I would I would love for people to treat my stuff like that. Who wouldn't, you know? Um, who wouldn't? You're they're more appreciative than anybody else by taking your shit. Yeah, you're right. So Carlos, yeah, so, I'm sharing sure. a few things here. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I think again, you guys could see all this on my Instagram. Oh, um, <laughs> but yeah, this yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a picture by andrew garcia yeah in the studio oh look like at her shoulder, shoulder. oh no what yeah. happened to her, her shoulders dislocated oh no <laughs> <laughs> it's also at an angle yeah it's also at an angle yeah this um, one looks like the bartender from Coles. oh yeah yeah i read that i read that i'm really happy with that i'm really happy with the lighting i did with the in the trees um that's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's a slipknot shirt. Yeah, yeah, man. A little slipknot shirt. This one's it, a, a little different than some of the ones you've done before. Yeah. And, and what do you mean? I uh, no, I just it's 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 a little more expressive painting, like like less line based, but more like paint based. And that's what absolutely. I mean. Yeah, that's absolutely what I mean. that's something I'm definitely still working on, you know, uh filling in, building, building my block, building in with with the paints, yeah, instead of line work. Um, that that one that, that that girl is actually inspired by like all of my friends around me. All my friends around me have. There's a little bit of everyone in there. So yeah. Is there something? Um, oh God, I'm having trouble with <laughs> what I'm trying to say. Oh, they a lot of because a lot of the things you're talking uh, you talk about trying to find a style and. Um, uh, it's sort of a niche with the things you're making and it just it, it hits me kind of funny because to uh, well because to me you're talking about a lot of the things that I kind of find um, suspect <laughs> in you know just like branding and and a lot of I know it's good for business for selling right things. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I totally feel you, man. I totally yeah. feel you. And I think I have to let that go, man. I have to let go of the fact that um, like whatever you build, whatever you create, it, it'll mean something to you, right? You know what it means to you, but yeah. to others, it, it won't. And that's the same thing when it comes to branding and things like that. Um, I, I have a lot of confidence. I have enough confidence in, my, in myself to be able to be like, you know what, if I start something like, like a clothing company or something, I would definitely make it. But um. But it, it just there's this there's this um thing holding me back where um where I have to be able to first learn to um to give give my art the love that it deserves right um and I think I think uh, sometimes I have trouble accepting that um the judgment judgment is inevitable right and well, so uh, is you know, it's something I admire though too because the the range is you know impressive and rare to me to thanks man you thank know, you to be able to but for real yeah because you do like a lot of very very different things very convincingly like really like really well and so thank you i want to what actually where like where that kind of led me i wanted to ask like if there's a more abstract kind of thing in your mind or it's not an easy question to 
how to articulate. So whatever you want to talk about, you know what I mean? But um, you know what I mean? But if there's something that's not even just purely, uh, I'm not sure how to put it, but the, you know what I mean? Like a little bit beyond aesthetic or like a literal, like, well, beyond style, you know what I mean? That, what, what do you mean? Like, do, do I want to express it or have I, or what? No, no, like something that's not just a style or a look purely that is kind of, you know what I mean? That you, you like, you come back to, I guess I'll just put it that way. You know what I mean? Or it's like, you find it's a motivation. It'll make you start a piece, you know? Oh, okay, okay. Um, before it's an image, you know what I mean? It's like a thought before it's an image. And then in it, I know I'm asking something far out. Um, no, absolutely, man. Thanks for that far out question, it. man. Um, yeah, um, so, so for example, um, uh, it's not it's not the most um, uh, 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 shareable piece of it, of uh, of information that I would say. You know, I I'm not like I'm not uh, uh, fond of saying it, but I do see it does. I do feel sometimes when uh, when I medicate, um, things become uh, the process is much much more chill. It's much more uh, relaxed, right? Um, uh, not to say that my work comes out better. <laughs> yeah, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, not to say that my work comes out better when I'm when I'm like medicated, but uh, I, I definitely um, I definitely have to be in a certain state of mind. And what I mean by that, I don't mean like on anything. I mean like I have to be chill. It needs to be a good atmosphere for me, and that will eventually lead for me to be create more creative, right? Um, I think doing things, doing more um, abstract things, is something that I really uh, would like to have more practice on. Uh, just because I can be, a, I can become a little bit too obsessive with with technique and technicality and trying to make something look, you know, specific. So I would, I would definitely have to um, practice being much more loose with my with my stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Does that answer? It? Like, yeah, I, I want to, and at the same time, I think that uh, uh, it, it needs to come naturally. It needs to come organically. So, well, I was just kind of curious what you'd say. Because <laughs> uh, yeah. I find that, it, you know, you got you got a really solid illustration shops, too, which are not, which are awesome. You know, abstract isn't really better than. Right, uh, right, right. Um, yeah, I would, I would definitely agree with you on that, man. Yeah, definitely. I know I use the word abstract, but I wasn't even talking about abstract art. I was talking about an idea before, you know. Oh, an, an idea instead of the actual fit of physio. Okay, like yeah. Man. It looks like something if there's an idea before that even. Because some people oh, okay. start drawing and it's just like they like an aesthetic. So they're just drawing into that. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then an aesthetic. No, you know what, man? I, I actually would like to lean more towards, I think that would help a lot. I think that would help any artist, right? Um, no, I think when I have something in my head, uh, I am very keen on trying to get that, you know, trying to vomit that thought out on paper. Um, vomit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because I want it out. I want it out. You know, it's in my head. I see it. I just want to put it down on paper. Um, yeah, that's what I was at. Okay, that's it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Jax. She doesn't hear me. I think she, they have headphones on. <laughs> oh, man. Who knows? Yeah, that's, that's a lie. I think I never talked that much about myself before. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Anytime. Anytime. What? Are you done? Well, no, I mean, do you guys have questions? That's it. Oh, yeah. If you want to no. have, ask questions, <laughs> that's uh, awesome. Yeah, you uh, never want to regurgitate anything. <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? This is not necessarily like a question, but like I said before, the, that uh, those figures that look like human bodies, that, but that are connected by that pink uh, mass. Yeah, yeah. I think you should like do something with that or maybe something mm. I, that's really cool. it caught my attention oh no like become a michelangelo of your own realm and style it's like where you just have like 200 figures on a ceiling Shit, that that right that, that, very, that, very that, that's like you know five years i don't know 
Um, All right. I guess we have I guess we have now the next group project right there, man. <laughs> Dude, I, I really like that. I don't think I've seen something like that. Not, you know, not to blow you up, man, but you're my dog. You know, I wanna I wanna see where that goes and see what you can do with Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I'm pretty I'm, cool. Dude, um, yeah, so uh, not only uploading, but also archiving my work. Um, I've done, dude, I've done at least, I'm on my 40 something, almost 50th sketchbook, right? Um, but I only have like four of them, dude. So, so archiving is definitely something that I have to be better at. So I'm very happy that I post some of my old stuff um, on Instagram. So I definitely, I'll yeah, like look back and for something like that, yeah, I'll like look back at it and then it'll like jolt something, you know, turn something on in my head and just kind of keep going with that. Um, but I think I've seen all of you guys do it as well in the past. Um, you know, you bring back ideas, you um, you progress on what you have. Um, Andrew's really taking a liking to um, to his color, dude. I love your chalk work and you've really developed it. I think that's something we all do, we try and do, right? Um, we have our old work and then we use it to look back and then progress in the future, right? <clears throat> so I hope I hope to do that with that trippy stuff, with the yeah. being more loose with my ideas. Yeah. Did you uh, happen to paint that uh, yeah. photo behind you, Carlos? This guy or this guy? No, this is yeah, this uh, is a poster. The the other one. Yeah. So this one is um is my late one of the, my latest pieces, but it is not done. And I'm hoping someone will let me volunteer to um, paint their wall because uh, I would like to put a, uh, uh, the golden rings around both figures and then have it drip out onto the wall uh, with gold. Yeah, with some gold or something. So mm. if anybody wants their wall messed up, you know. <laughs> you know, I went to Oregon and I told some guy, uh, uh, I was like, hey, I know some artists that they'll go anywhere, you know, just gotta pay us anywhere, any square. And he's like, you there know you what? Go, <laughs> Global tour. Yeah. Global tour. I, unfortunately, I think he was trying to fuck me, but you know, I'm just gonna take that in stride. <laughs> How unfortunate, man! How is that unfortunate? Come well, uh, you know, I, like I said, I'm taking it in stride. You know how somebody's just really nice to you and you just want to be like, all right. But then he gave me like four Modellos. I'm like, dude, it's, it's oh, too, too nice, too nice. Yeah. Of the night, taking it. <laughs> you guys are awesome thank you so much for coming guys i appreciate you guys being here no uh, problem man thank you for showing uh us your art i know how if anybody looks at your uh your work it just makes you kind of like i anybody that shows their work is it's more than bravery so thank you for sharing do we have thank any you. more questions does anyone else uh, have more questions ask, can I ask yeah. Okay, so I got Andrew Hi, and I got I got uh, Jacob. Andrew, go first. All right, so I'm about to sort of stroke your ego here a lot. Oh, but... do it! All right, so <laughs> I'll talk a lot and everything. Like I like that you like study a lot of the uh, old masters kind of thing. Like I tend to do that. Like I almost see some similarities between like your work and my work sometimes. Yeah, and, dude, same, same. So we have like, to say, yeah, I think know. a lot of, a lot of our uh, visuals, we share a lot of the, the intro. I'll see some of your work and it'll catch, it'll be really easy to catch, catch my mm -hmm. attention, man. And sometimes I go, man, I should have did that. And I should have done that. Like, yeah, I, exactly, I, man. Yeah, that's why I say we share a lot of the same visuals. Yeah, right? like when when I saw your possums, I was like, man, I forgot you can actually do that with acrylic. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so like something that kind of like resonated with me, like when I was working on the mural in Logan Square, like Juan was like hanging out with me and everything. And he goes... He goes, dude, the best advice you can do, post your work no matter what. Like, even if you hate it, just post it. Like, yeah. it doesn't hurt. And who knows, stolen yeah, by yeah. it. <laughs> like, yeah. and I, that, kind of, that kind of resonated with me a little bit. I was like, you know, like, there's some pieces I should be posting. And, yeah, I just got, but, you know, me, I post like crazy and everything uh the biggest thing i took away from it was like i got to meet some very interesting people through it like i would constantly post and i keep on meeting more and more people like i got like 
offered to do a mural in Miami. Like, dude, that is yeah, awesome. Like yeah. Some guy, like, he, he liked my mural piece and he was like, dude, like, come to Miami, go do it. Another one of my friends who works at, like, who I met through it, who works at Netherland, like, things like this guy, like, he, he's made it on an illustrator like he he works on like video games like mortal Kombat and all that and everything and he's told me his process so, so like so, so, we so. go back and forth about it so like that's my biggest takeaway but like when i see your work too i'm always like the biggest thing and the number one thing i always gotta say your work ethic your work ethic your work ethic your work ethic Thanks. I love Thank you. your work ethic. Dude, like, that means a lot. That means a lot coming from you. Like a good work ethic and everything. Like every time I'm seeing you, you're working on something and everything. Like even even you're chilling. I know you're thinking about it and all that. And that in some ways that kind of pushes me as an artist as well. I'm always like, okay, like Carlos is doing this. Same like, man. When it comes to your openness, man, when it comes to you, um just um uh, you're always willing to um, work with anyone, right? You, you, you're always open arms to anyone who wants to work, who wants to art, and you do that. And that definitely has, um, has motivated me in the past, man. Seriously, uh, I, I, uh, if I, I can't be by my, on my own too much or else I let my own thoughts kind of uh, snowball me into my own And that's space. why I need to bug you more often. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I definitely want to collab with you sometime. Thank you so much. Thank you for that, man. Thank you. We'll definitely collab. <laughs> definitely. Absolutely. Man. I don't have any questions. I just wanted to say all that. Thank you, man. Thank you. It means a lot saying that Um, I feel like I wasted a lot of time, man. I feel like, uh, I think I've told this to Jacob. Uh, I, I feel like I wasted a lot of time Um focusing on nine to fives, like uh, right after high school, right? I had a part-time sophomore year. I was working a full-time senior year, you know, didn't stop working for the last 15 years. And I think that um, uh, I definitely feel sometimes that I'm trying to make up for that lost time. So when yeah. you say that, that about my work ethic, it's, it's what I'm trying to do, man. It's what I'm trying to switch, make that switch over from working these, these to the, with these companies and like these dead end gigs to putting that type of effort into my work, right? I mean, you do what you love, and uh, there's also another saying. And we were talking earlier about your teacher stuff. Like, I'm I'm working in education. Like, I have a group of class and everything. Like, I can relate to everything you just said there too. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Times I've had to get on them and everything. Ugh, that's there's yeah. so. Much I, I'm, I'm stoked. I'm stoked to have that under my belt now. You know, I can put yeah. something different into my resume after so long of so many years of having these stank ass references i can actually put something worthy on my resume jacob you had a question man well um i wanted to bring up a saying too that was sort of related on there's a good sir david who goes to the studio um he said um well you're gonna have to work anyways so you might as well do the thing that you would rather do right yeah, absolutely. Well, um, also, I want to say it's nice to see you again. I remember the last time I saw you was the very day that they announced there was officially a pandemic in the United States. And oh, so yeah, the night you came over, man. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So, you know, like, kind of cool. It's been um, almost a year since then. Yeah, man, it's been almost a year now. We had like, talked about some of the things that you were uh, studying at the time, and I kind of missed the part of the meeting because I was getting food, but... um. <laughs> Just wondering, like, has any of your deep study in anatomy, has that at all sort of uh, changed or expanded uh, your art style? And if so, are you kind of surprised in some of the directions that it's heading because of what you've been doing uh, rudimentary? Dude, no. No, unfortunately, um, I, I, I wish I could say that, I, um, that I've continued to practice it. But what I've jumped yeah. on more is opening the mediums so, um, you know, uh, sculpting and painting, um, I think uh, I still have, I still keep that just for, you know, for reference right behind me. So, okay. um, but, but yeah, man, I'm, I'm uh, trying to do more like, like more bigger stuff and I'm trying to do more color stuff, you know, like super huge things, you know, like massive. 
Nice. Massive stuff. And I'm trying to work with color more because um, I think if, even if you look at the, the, even if you look at the, what Tracy was showing you guys on the Instagram, a lot of it is, uh, is sketches, it's doodles, you know, it's, it's, um, okay. it's what I've been practicing. So, yeah. uh, but, but to get back at that, um, like, yeah, um, I, I was very, um, I used to be very insecure about the fact of not following my studies after high school, um, you know, not going to a university or anything like that. So, um, but I was able to prove to myself, right, that if you have an interest in something, you can study, you're going to find a way to study it. And um, I'm very happy with what my results are sometimes. Um, sometimes I can come up with some uh, really realistic looking images, thanks to that, that short period of time where I was very, very much into uh, human anatomy. That's awesome. Thank you so much for referencing that, man. That's long ass time since we talked about that. I know. It sounds like you're hitting you're hitting at it from different corners and kind of closing in on what you want to. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Absolutely. I don't. I I think uh, I've said this more than once. Like I'm ready to be homeless. Uh, I'm ready to be a bum. I don't care where I physically am as long as I'm painting or arting, man. I don't. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I had to say all that. <laughs> But you no, get my no, point. No, you get no, my no. point. <laughs> Carlos, you remember when I was crashing in my car? Yeah, man. I, I, I'm going to be there, man. I'm going to take that Jeep all across the country, man. I swear to God. So many uh, so many ideas are going to come to you. You're going to feel like, man, I maybe I should buy an RV or something. It's a uh, bigger truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I spent it's the last five years trying to get that truck. Yeah. <laughs> so you're definitely right in that mind of thinking, man. But you're already like uh andrew said your work ethic it's it's speaking for itself like uh you have amazing stuff and it's just the older you get the more amazing it's gonna get so Thanks. i'm excited to see what's next from not only you but every everybody yeah absolutely guys um i think the coolest part of the most rewarding thing about any squared is uh that after five years um <clears throat> you really see some people you know really become you know becoming their own just just all out just pass or passing what you could have thought what i could have thought they could have done what we you know myself what i could have done um i see you guys teaching see you guys traveling getting these like teaching gigs it is awesome it is awesome to see um mm -hmm. to see growth in my own group man from all of you okay so i appreciate that um a lot of inspiration from from my colleagues and you guys are my my colleagues, thank you so much. It's a community. <laughs> Even though we can't commune right now. We are right now, right? Yeah, we are, but we're not physically together, except Carlos is over there. Tracy, you just want to <laughs> hug all of us. Just be yes, honest. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. She does. She does. I want to hug you too. <laughs> yeah, I was scared it would have been a crazy hot spot. Like we didn't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> Just drinking wine, like you know, there in the wine. yeah, absolutely, the wine. guys, absolutely. Man. So for this recorded part of the thing, so somebody is part of somebody's crunching. Okay, for the recorded <laughs> part of this, um, uh, are, does anyone else have any other questions? Like, like, let's do a couple more. Like this has been a really good conversation so far. I'm really excited about it. I'm so glad Carlos wanted to do it loosey goosey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got you've had a bunch of professionals on, dude. I, I was not going to try and like match you guys. Like I was like, dude, I'm just gonna do my own thing. Um, I'm very happy with the turnout. I'm happy to see everyone's faces. I'm happy to see you guys, you guys came in and watched this. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Helen. Oh, she says the same thing is I love you and I love your work so much. I was looking forward <laughs> to it. Yeah. I can't like, I get, you know, I, I hate working out of a sketchbook. You know what I mean? So I like, I really admire what I see. Some, I would, and I was really like, oh, yeah, you know, into like Jacob's question and the where that went. Cause that was my first thought actually for not my, or, you know, the uh, uh, question 
what's you know like if i was gonna be like standing next to you with a stick in your studio it's just like like do what i want you know like some whatever like aggro patron or something right 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 right. Dude. i want to see what you do with this medium and then that one and then that one and then that one <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah so and i try and i try and push that with uh with the kids you know um yeah i definitely yeah, I, i'll have a lesson plan for example um Today we were creating characters, for example, right? I'm showing them what to think about when you're coming up with a character and woo woo. But I also give them the option, right? You can follow along or you can just have your sketchbook open and you can draw, which is something that you're not going to hear ever from no teacher ever say, you know? Um, so I'm glad I get to be the teacher and I get to make the rules, so. Yeah, that's, right. that's super right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do what you want. Just have your sketchbook in front of you. They don't mess with you too much, like bureaucracy or anything with that. I mean, um, like, no, because it's in because it's an arts and crafts class. That's why I don't think I'd be able to do that, like you know, in you know, bio studies or like history or anything. Like that. I worked somewhere they did, actually, frankly. <laughs> oh no, I believe really you. Arts yeah, and yeah. Crafts? What's that? Like, is it really specifically arts and crafts? Like, is that what it's called? Yes, yes, it, it's it, that yeah. is so cool. I want that, like that craft part. I need that in my life for sure, for sure. Which is which is the part that I'm um that I'm not used to. Again, like most of my uh, students are girls, so uh, they they brought they brought up doing bracelets. So now I have to learn how to make bracelets. <laughs> I love that. Oh my <laughs> god! Wait, how old are they? They are uh. uh sophomores and juniors and then the oh. other is um fifth through eighth grade that is so cute yeah yeah they are they are awesome they are awesome thanks guys thank you so much what do you what, do you, what have you guys been into or up to i mean let's pass well, it around you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap up the recorded part and we're gonna talk and be our little community um off off <laughs> recording <laughs> So thank you, Carlos, for such a wonderful, thank you, like, thank you for exuberant you, Carlos. talk. Thank you for the spotlight. Thank you for the and spotlight. It, and you're so bright. And and it, it's it been a really great talk. Thanks so much. It was awesome. It was so much fun. Thank you. Yay. Check social media for future Zooms and future streams. Thank you to Hairpin Art Center for being our streaming partner. Thanks for watching.